I would like to welcome everybody officially to the Housing and Green Energy Investment Forum. My name is Albert Allen and I'm the Chief Inspector of Building Inspectors of Ghana. Our main focus here is Air Conditioning Gas Safety Certificate, a gateway to sustainable housing. But I was specifically asked to speak pertaining to from design to occupancy, a building's entire life cycle needs to be carefully considered to make it sustainable for the long term. Are green buildings worth it in terms of durability? Let's let that question linger in our head as we proceed, as we proceed through the presentation and we'll answer that at the end. The Property Express uh, Awards has an agenda where they want to encourage governments to implement more regulations that will, one, improve safety in all residential and commercial premises, and particularly in the private rented sector. Two, level up private rentals in Ghana. Three, offer high quality and safe housing. As we implement more green building standards and techniques into our construction of buildings, we will easily achieve these three goals. Building Inspectors of Ghana is a neutral third party verification company that specializes in identifying renewable energy, energy efficient, and sustainability related features, systems, and components that can be a part of a home or within the structure. I'll highlight more of those features, components, and systems as we proceed through the uh, presentation. The benefits of staying in sustainable buildings. One, reduce operational costs and maintenance. Two, reduce resource use and environmental impact. Carbon footprint reduction. Protects biodiversity and ecosystems. And lastly, lowers costs that lead to long-term cost efficiency. What is BIG's impact on operational costs and maintenance? Well, Building Inspectors of Ghana provides annual maintenance inspections that identify major and minor deficiencies relating to the foundation, electrical, plumbing, cooling systems, interior and exterior components of a structure. During the inspection, we identify all green friendly appliances, materials, and design of the structure. Lastly, we make any recommendations uh, that support energy efficiency and sustainability. Aiming to reduce resource use and limit environmental impacts from buildings throughout their life cycle. BIG can recommend and identify deficiencies in systems such as solar PV systems, low flush toilets, and control lighting and cooling. Examples of the control lighting are the motion sensors, uh, for exterior lighting, you can have the solar sensors that when the sun goes down, it will turn on the exterior lighting. Once the uh, date, once morning comes, it will automatically cut those lights off. Low flush toilets, we're looking at a gallon and a half uh, on the total uh, capacity or volume of the tank. And we're looking for dual flush, a dual flush um, uh, mechanisms on it so that say if uh, you want to do a lighter flush versus a more volume flush uh, you have that option and lastly uh, the control features on your co cooling system uh, having a therm thermostat a working thermostat uh, also um, there are some timers that are placed on these units that you can set for 30 45 minutes all these things lead to reducing and uh, energy use. Carbon footprint reduction, saving the planet one inspection at a time. Building inspectors of Ghana can investigate companies, manufacturers, and developers that claim to be green friendly. In addition, BIG advocates for energy efficient appliances and building techniques through public service announcements, exhibitions, social media, and client referrals, and forums like this. Protecting our ecosystem. BIG supports and recommends working with companies and manufacturers that use alternative renewable resources in their construction practices to protect Ghana's biodiversity and ecosystem. 
In addition, Building Inspectors of Ghana brings awareness and educates its clients and referral partners on the importance of utilizing sustainable building practices to protect biodiversity and ecosystems. Material, materials most widely used for sustainable architecture. Building Inspectors of Ghana partners with companies that provide building materials from recycled plastics and create earthquake bags. One company that I'm familiar with is Nailplast Eco Ghana. This company collects all plastic waste across Ghana, transports it back to their factory, and then they create plastic bricks and also uh, stones for, pavement, for paving streets. Deep Solar Ghana provides solar panels systems for residential, commercial applications uh, to help you use uh, solar, uh, solar energy to power your home. Gig Depths Engineering is a company that specializes in using earth latrite to create a, uh, a earth brick that has a life of and I don't want to overstate, of 50 years. It is very durable and a great insulator. Uh, in, warm, in warm climates, it allows the home to stay cooler. And in cooler climates, it allows you to build the home. Uh, you would just save in the long run. And so BIG provides phase construction inspections and annual property maintenance evaluations that identify major and minor deficiencies throughout the life cycle of the building which reduces operating costs. In the Ghana Building Code 2018, property owners are required to do an annual inspection of their home. It's in the code. Are, are, is that happening? Not as often as it should. And so BIG has come here to fill that gap. We provide an in-depth report, repair list, stating the things that need to be repaired, the deficiencies that are found, and we can even give you a cost estimation along with the repair list with a list of vendors to potentially hire to make those corrections. We make it as easy as possible for a property owner to keep proper maintenance on their property. I want to go to um, a report. I'm also a, an edge expert. And so we use a software where we get the basic parameters, basic information from the client. We input it into a software and it basically creates um, a guideline on how to build the home sustainable. We can begin the uh, report to give you a guidance on how to construct your home as sustainable as possible. If you complete all those requirements, then we can push towards certifying your, your building, which then increases the markup value on it anywhere between 15 to 35%. So, for this example, we have a client that is building a hotel in Panama. Now, the software is very high tech and so it, it it is aware of the different regions in the world it knows that the market in ghana is different than the market in panama and so when you are in the location of where the building is built the back end uh app will know how to set those parameters according to ghana or panama all we need to know is the location, the number of rooms, how many stories the building will be, their occupancy rate, if, he, if it is a five-star um, hotel. And so here we have the occupancy rate of 85%. It's a five-star hotel. It has an irrigation lawn area. It has a banquet and conference facility a breakfast area, a health spa, and a swimming pool. So we take these basic parameters and put it into the software. The client also told us that there would be 135 rooms available for people to um, stay in. And so we take that basic information, enter it in, and the software creates a parameter 
specs for each room to be built as sustainable as possible. That way you can take that information to an architect, to a designer, and they can look at these specs and now create a design within the sustainable, sustainable standards. Or if you already have the blueprints from the architect, we can take that information, put it into the software, and now we're looking for ways to now meet the thresholds of at least 20% reduction in energy, 20% reduction in water, and 20% reduction in embodied energy to construct the home. And when we say embodied energy, that's from creating the building materials, getting it to the site, constructing the home, and then you're finished. So there is a lot of resources used in that process. And so we can design the building from the start to be as sustainable and efficient as possible. We also get basic information on how they plan to heat the building, their cooking appliances, will it be natural glass, electric, we input those parameters. And then it basically creates two different comparisons. Brother, can you scroll down to, um, uh, go to the next one. I. So on the left side here, we see a traditional building. And then on the right side, we have a sustainable building. I just want you guys to focus and see how much energy we're saving when we utilize this app. And then we go into constructing, building our structure. Here, as far as energy efficiency savings, we're hitting at about 36% savings in energy yearly 